Hello all, welcome to my channel Tech Research and another episode of Research Talk Show. Today we have distinguished scientist, former director of IIC Kolkata, India, Padma Shri awardee, Sankar Paul Sir with us. Speaking about his academic qualifications, he has completed PhD in Electrical Engineering from Imperial College of Science and Technology, London in 1982, and then he completed his postdoc at the same university. He has been honored with many awards and his research interest includes areas like soft computing, rough computing, neural nets, granular computing, and many more to list out. You can read more about him on Wikipedia link given in description. So without wasting time, let's interact with the sir and let's know how was his overall journey in research. Hello, sir. Welcome to my channel. Yes. Good afternoon. So my first question is, have you defined research personally? Where were you, were you passionate about it or it was just destiny that brought it for you? Basically, research means uh, finding just something which actually has not yet been discovered before or being not exploited much. Yeah, that's a simple question. And in the process, I have seen there are three important uh, parameters one should have. Passion, definitely, then your determination, and then commitment. That's most, most important. And moreover, research is not like a just common job that you just go to institute around 10 o'clock, you start working and then five o'clock you stop, you come back, you get busy with some other work. No, it's a, it's a practically a continuous process. Yeah, always you keep your mind is busy with a problem of finding the problem, solution, whether you are doing correct thing or not. So, so it's not basically a zero one system, which switch off on or switch yeah, off. It's a switch is always on. Mm -hmm. Maybe in just different different degrees. That's what I I consider as a research. So one should not confuse a research career or research kind of job with a other respectable even uh, science job also. Mm -hmm. Research is, is research. It's a the way day you have joined PhD program or afterwards postdoc, then you come to a good uh, premier research institute, etc. So research is always with, with you. Wherever you go, research, research goes with you, always in your mind. And the definitely passion and also determination and also hard working. It should have work. And for me, I don't know why, but uh, I didn't have much intention at the beginning of my career after I completed my MTech. I was going for a job also in some of the institutions, for the example, that uh, space research. Mm -hmm. I gave interview also, but they asked me to go for research, your, your research mind. Then I got a job at Department of Atomic Energy Nuclear Power Plant, mm -hmm. uh, Rabat Bhatta, Rajasthan. I went for a First one month course also there, which is just a government bonding, mm -hmm. but then I returned. So as you ask me that that question, I'll say that it's a basically just combination mm -hmm. of my passionate and the destiny. I came came here. I wow. didn't have any plan plan while I was studying that I will do research and etc. Maybe actually I had no such guidance also. That's wonderful to know. Like it's always a combination of passion and hard work and then destiny works for you and then you get the guidance accordingly. Even I do not know that uh, after two months, three months, what will be my output result? I'm actually getting, going to achieve anything after mm -hmm. six months. Mm -hmm. So I always go by the uh, present uh, situation. For example, this morning I... I had long discussion with my one postdoc lady student and one doctoral student. I was mm -hmm. suggesting some questions, answer, etc. How to write this article and then the novelty of this article that you have prepared. Novelty mm -hmm. is not adequate. So this kind of subjectivity is there. You cannot quantify, but always in his mind because still that paper gets accepted in a very good journal. Yeah. And as soon as you get get it accepted, then you think, I think that, oh, nothing has uh, much improved. It's a, it's a uh, not much important work. And mm. then again, it starts frustrating, yeah, frustration. So now due to the pandemic, I'm just very much frustrated. Uh, I cannot produce good paper. I cannot move for, for the delivering lectures and all these things. I think just for, uh, like me, there are many uh, scientists all over the world. 
who loves to travel, who loves to discuss with the students, who loves to talk with the students, who loves to think about new research problems. And as you said, my all this honors and what you were telling, I had no plan for them. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you. Told mm-hmm. my many students after I retired. I had no plan. Someone told me, oh, you have done so many work, why don't you apply for Patnagar Prize? I didn't know how to get nominated also. Uh, I have a second question. What is the most challenging thing while pursuing PhD or research from your point of view? Uh, see the thing, I have two PhD degrees. Eh? I have just never thought I'll do work. Eh? Now I'm seeing our students uh, doing one PhD is enough. Eh? Mm-hmm. But, uh, but what I had in my mind, my research is the primary concern. A degree is my secondary byproduct. Eh? That was always in my mind. So when I joined my institute, Indian Statistics Institute, I had most, most toughest time because of the following, because the subject that was given by my mentor is called pattern recognition. Mm-hmm. There, there was no subject taught in any uh, MTech courses in our country or even abroad also. It was a very new topic. It's a research area, no book, no journal. And even in my ISI, being a famous institute mm-hmm. and having a, a big library, they didn't uh, subscribe to any electrical science journals. Eh? Mm-hmm. So my situation, and we were in ISI basically a third grade category. You know, every mm-hmm. institute has a uh, just a first category subject, second category subject. Academy. So that time I joined the physics and arts science division. That time computer science, science was not there. So statistics, mathematics is the main discipline, then the econometrics, then the biology. So physics, arts science, all together one discipline I joined, no book, Nothing. My background is electronic, no book. But I got the CSS in that only just uh, triggering point that uh, before I completed my MTech, our degree, I uh, CSI offered with the senior fellows. Mm-hmm. So, so no book, only I have a one edited volume I mentioned that KS was the father of uh, pattern revision. That's what I came to know after reading his own edited volume. Edited volume means plus few chapters. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> his from Purdue University. And from my CSR research grant, I had uh, 500 rupees research grant. And uh, fellowship amount also 500 that time per month. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that uh, I bought a, another edited volume that is published from uh, Indo, uh, uh, US-Japan conference. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The Japan conference proceedings that, that proceedings were cyclos time that time uh, time what proceeding all on that so only these two edited volumes and yeah. one research paper I collected from a mother institute in Kaka University they had some electron journal so that's how I started. And nobody to do my hardest time. And in the institute also, we are respected, downgraded because we belong, we do not belong to statistics, mathematics. There is no jhana. There was only one thesis I do remember. This is thesis published by Macmillan. Very difficult to read because full of mathematics. Full mm-hmm. of mathematics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is a Macmillan press publication of their thesis. It was published, by, I think, from European country, Denmark or somewhere. So that was the only source thing, my toughest thing. But advantage was that my guy didn't object me to mm-hmm. whatever I wanted to do. So I started writing paper, first paper was rejected, writing the transaction on computer. At that time, yes, not many journals also there. Yeah. I think the transaction only eight or nine maximum. Eh? Mm-hmm. There is no other journal. There is no business like today what we have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so many uh, uh, publication avenues are coming on. Some are good, bad, worse, all those yeah. things. So that's how I started working. That's one. And then what I realized that if you have a very difficult subject in the sense it's a very new subject, then it has certain merits also. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That since there is no book, nothing, whatever you write, very simple concept, as because there is no proper journal also. Right? Yeah. Related, related journals could be. So then it, it, it gets a better chance to get acceptance. Mm-hmm. Similarly, when I 
moved to Imperial College, I had the experience of that. I had a postdoc offer from Purdue, but I didn't go. I had the Imperial College because of the name, because that they, they then guide, the then director of our institute advised me, you go to Imperial, Imperial College. You would learn many things. So I went there with the faith value that, okay, I will do my research if I get out of that degree, no problem. <laughs> so I had the experience about how to do research, but again there, the topic I chose is image processing. Uh -huh. In India, only just defense lab, they started working on remote sensing, but no expertise. Mm -hmm. Even EPL college, no department. If you remember our uh, Abdul Salam, Nobel laureate. Yeah. He was, he was associated with the physics department of Imperial College. Mm -hmm. He used to do some image processing, but it's not that in research for mm -hmm. his uh, uh, for his arrangement of some images that he receives. And so in America, Professor Rosen, uh, Rosenberg Group in Maryland, they used mm -hmm. to do some image processing. So otherwise, because it is difficult, because you need to have so many expensive laboratories. Yeah. Uh, computing facility, printing facility, uh, but for other pattern notion problem, if you work on speech or handwritten character, there is no, no need all those things. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. there also had a problem. My guide, he doesn't know anything about Fajit said, he doesn't know anything about image processing, but he said, Shankar, if you want to work with me, I will give you some. He's a man of similar processing. I said, fine, I do not need guidance. I know now what to do. Mm -hmm. But I do not know how to do it here at Imperial. And for us, it is a foreign country, eh? yeah. developed country. At that time, we are very much homesick also. Eh? Exactly. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I didn't uh, I didn't belong to a very rich family. It's a very uh, simple family. So we had some barrier also. Eh? If you if it not like today. Today yeah. you know everything about the whole world sitting at your home and yeah, know. I agree. So, but one of interesting thing. My computer service center, J jumped, J helped me in writing program, etc. The University College London, they had a, uh, uh, those, uh, if, if I give the output, they send me the uh, image, uh, negative of the image. Mm -hmm. So that was automatically given from the my department, uh, the service center to there. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to bother. Then my advisor took me to Philips uh, Research Laboratory, Redil, Surrey. Mm -hmm. they, they used to do on image processing because they are uh, the Philips research laboratory for television, other thing. So mm -hmm. we collected that tape data. It's mm -hmm. a tape roll, which has some TikTok and then you can read. Mm -hmm. Then he took me to uh, our institute of sick children to Professor Tanner, a famous medical doctor, but research professor. So mm -hmm. he gave me some uh, X-ray plates of uh, children of hand and uh, wrist, wrist and one, so that from the wrist, you can ex estimate the age of a child. And if mm -hmm. it is a malnutrition, so the uh, then you can find the what is the reason of malnutrition. So I got this thing. So those kind of supports I got, but otherwise no support for any kind of research guidance or anything. And that mm -hmm. was my problem. And similarly, not journals also. Yeah. So my first time was in electronics letter mm. in the very previous journal in UK, IWE. The second was in IT DSHP. So only again, IT transaction only eight or nine. Mm. So I had to publish in uh, these two, two just, just transaction. But again, what I'll say, if you work in a new discipline, mm -hmm. there are problems. But at the same time, some advantage also, if you are very much uh, 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 interested in, in taking the challenge. Mm -hmm. Whatever simple idea you develop, it has a better chance of getting accepted and then you process, you become the pioneer in the discipline. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. work may not be that good today, but at that time, there was yeah. no book, there was no journal, there is no edited volume. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Yeah, that's a yeah. situation. Yeah. No one to discuss with again anybody. Mm -hmm. Those who know signal processing, they do not know image processing because image is a is a just uh, just two dimensional signal and right. also it is gray, gray and yeah. there is no book textbook. Right. So, think about the, the situation. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think uh, that's why my some of the those papers are still getting cited every year. Number may not be good, five ten five ten, but for the last forty to forty years, 
every year they get get cited by by somebody so my advice to young research i i tell to even my students also i tell that since you have come here you better think about your own research problem and mm -hmm. and the paper is they always ask to go for new research areas because as i just mentioned you that has many advantages so one should take this one as well yeah yeah thank you sir that's that's nice to know about your list research journey how struggle it was how it difficult it was with the limited resources have you able to perform and do the things so because i have seen uh, if you work in a in a existing well uh, literature subject mm -hmm. then it is difficult to break through also yeah you have got enough uh, literature enough expertise around but to break through is very difficult and on the other end the other way is very much frustration there is no book no challenge nothing guide also just does not does not know the discipline much so that becomes a problem yeah exactly that i i agree with you so my next question comes after hearing your journey is like what are the tips that can help student to stay motivated during research or while doing phd because we can see that there is a lot more uh, coming from your life experiences you must have so much experience about like good or bad so um, nowadays i find it like difficult to just keep going with even though you have so much of information and so much of facilities around you still sometimes it's difficult for a student to just follow the passion or we can say uh, to go with the research so what will be your uh, if you can throw some light on that point that would yes, be great no, yes yes this is a very very interesting question i have been asked several times when i go to iits or universities to for student program this question first of all let me tell you i have seen uh, two kinds of students mm -hmm. one is very much ambitious about their phd that they will do a miracle work etc and one is it's not that ambitious but one so the, in the first category i have seen many times they feel a frustration mm -hmm. so my suggestion is always that you consider phd is a kind of advanced training and now that's what the whole world is now doing mm -hmm. kind of advanced training under after your post graduate where you learn how to develop independently mm -hmm. thinking bringing new ideas how to approach the problem independently and then if you need some advanced courses that you which courses you need to take up then writing a report of your own uh, highlighting the contribution the writing report is a very hard if yeah. you, if you do good research that may not lead to a good publication also mind it and i have yeah. seen many not so good research but they got highly cited highly paper because the way it is written okay. writing paper is an art yeah doing paper uh, working is an art teaching is an art mind it nobody no, no uh, item has got other correlation with them that if you are a better student means better researcher no this is false if you are a better, better researcher means you can do, do good work but you cannot write then yeah. also no of just no use so is this a kind of advanced training where you learn to bring independently mm -hmm. formulate idea new idea of course you have to read the uh, research means searching again so you have okay. to know the history of the answer then in the process you can uh, get trained for an advanced course which you have not gone through during your post graduate then you writing the report for a peer review journal and target for the best journals mm -hmm. not any the past one never think think that you are solving during phd a miracle problem universe problem leading to say for example nobel prize i tell okay. everybody hey, 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 don't think then it will be in trouble okay then, then it will be in trouble that could be exception yeah. but but exception is not a rule you just you consider that you have come to a very good institute one this is one thing the second i say always whenever my students comes or what to do how to find a one i say there are two important things you select 
a research problem mm -hmm. and you select a supervisor, nice supervisor. These are two important things. This is my second point. Mm -hmm. You give a research problem and your nice supervisor. This is important problem. And why, I, why, why am, am I telling at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you will be judged by three items. How many good papers have come out over your work, with whom you have worked, and, and at which environment you have worked. Earning a PhD from IIT and earning a PhD from some unknown university, maybe good is not the same thing because you are buying learning from the environment. Mm -hmm. That is the environment of the thinking from the environment, good library facility, discipline, how to think about attending seminars, conferences, the new yeah. topic, and the, the thinking. In America, they said only two. I mean, good papers and then which, which guide you have come from. Yeah. I say which environment also, because in my country, yeah. same guide can be associated with, with many universities. Yeah. In, in not like in, 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 in UK or, or America. For example, in my institute, our students get degree from ISI also. Some students who are not that much good, they get degree from Jadupur, Calcutta, but they're working with me. So mm -hmm. somebody getting degree from Jadupur University, working at Jadupur University, and getting degree from Jadupur University, working at ISI, not the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So these two things, I, I always I'll tell them, then I call them, uh, your guide may not be expert in your, your discipline always. Mm -hmm. Because it's not, not possible. The way subject is evolving every day, mm -hmm. it's not possible also that you expect your guide to be the best one. Yeah. yeah. But your, your, what you need, first of all, as I mentioned, a problem and guide, you consider that it is your research, you will be earning the degree, not the guide. Yeah. So it is your headache to find the research problem. It is your headache to find the solution, ways, ways of solution. Then guide based on his experience, he or she would be able to tell you, if you go this way, you will get result. If you don't go this way, if you do this way, I, I do not know what to do. Mm -hmm. But don't expect that is like your, your MTech program. It will be just like a feeding bottle. Yeah. I have seen it in many areas. Mm -hmm. and as I suggested, always work in a new and forefront area. It will help you to become a pioneer even after doing a, a small concept. Small, yeah. Now the next question comes. Yes, yes. Another, another thing, the, the, your job opportunity, because today at our time, it was just not of, uh, not of just that much concern. Hmm. But now it is highly competitive. Yeah. So research topic, when you select, you also consider whether it's job opportunity after the five years. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, even otherwise, uh, uh, I don't mind. If you love research, not much money, etc., then it's fine problem. Now, if your guy doesn't have sufficient experience, which which often happens, yeah, don't get, get frustrated. Don't complain to others. Mm -hmm. I've seen the company, no, my guy is not helping, etc., etc. My suggestion is that you act as your guide. Yeah. Because it's a new area, your guide does not know. So you act your guide. So what do you mean by so you do a work as much as you can, mm -hmm. send it to a best quality journals. That's what I also did. Even if it gets rejected, no problem. But you will get three to four sets of good reviews by yeah. pioneers. Don't send to original journal, original journal, because the reverse, reverse set is not that expert. Mm -hmm. So it's based on, and then based on those reports, you modify the work, then you try again. Yeah. Then the paper will, will get accepted after two to three years. So by the meanwhile, you become expert in this area. Mm -hmm. So whenever next course paper will be submitted, they will send it to you for the review. Mm -hmm. And the, by that time, since you have become expert, you also, learn many new ideas before it gets accepted after one year. Because to get a paper accepted, it takes one to two years. Eh? Yeah. Minimum one, yeah, 1.5 to two years minimum. So by that time, you will be uh, knowing uh, 
whole world some of the ideas also what others people are thinking so that's why i said always guide your subsequent study for modification and you will publish and by the way you will be expert and research often brings frustration that mm -hmm. i have seen still today mm -hmm. when your research is a pool of frustration yeah you 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 the paper gets accepted you are happy for for just some certain time Yes. Next day, it again starts frustration. If your paper gets revision, major revision, which you difficult to one, frustrated, you blame the experts. I said no, don't blame the experts mm -hmm. because you you need to help experts to understand your paper. Right. That is that help him or her to help yourself. Mm -hmm. Maybe that he did or she didn't understand each and every line. So mm -hmm. take it as a granted, and you try to you try to to attempt it. But don't give up. You will succeed in long run. Yeah. And and research means whole life frustration. <laughs> research means frustration. It is a continuous process. It is a mm. frustration. Don't get published. You are you are now a fossil. If you do not work for two to three years, then you become a fossil. You cannot yeah. catch up the subject. Then no one will respect you. To yeah. be in the forefront area, you have to work very, very hard in new topics. Right. It is easy to say, but difficult to implement okay. because topic is evolving every day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then another thing is a degree versus research output. That's an another important issue. Mm. Many research I see that they get a very good degree from America and others. I have also appointed, but not good. Uh, uh, many. Uh, Output because they didn't bother about that output. It's a degree. He did course. He did some work, good work, etc. Et mm -hmm. So you decide first which one is more important to you. I, I I tell my students. If you consider the research output is a primary concern, then degree will come automatically as a byproduct. Yeah. Don't worry. It will come. Mm -hmm. Just you concentrate on research, publish in good journals. That's all. Mm -hmm. Nothing. On the other hand, if you don't do this, then you may land up. Since you are a good student, you have you got a good uh, admission to a good university, you will get a degree, but may not be having good quality publication output sufficient. So yeah. it is your decision. So uh, that's why I said whenever we judge the researcher by three things: number of good publications came out. There, somebody might have some question. Hey, he has only published one or two papers, not four or five papers in journal. Though, mm -hmm. though, though, though he is from a good institute, they will have some some little bit question mark. So, these are the few things I tell always to my my students, etc. Whenever you do PhD, you select your teacher and guide because. If you remember Ramakrishna, you know Ramakrishna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. Ramakrishna say you will get supervisor, mm -hmm. guru in in lakh, yeah, in lakh, mm -hmm. one lakh, two lakh, three lakh. But you will get sister student in only one. He got a sister Vivekananda. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's it. So he said the guru mele lakhe, sister mele akhe. That means there are plenty of. Supervisors around because supervisor job is unless he can get a position PhD he will not get the promotion. Mm. But I, I but I told students for you you have to earn your own PhD then you you will get a job. So I tell this story every other one. Yeah. Mm. And so and the end of Krishna said Guru Nidhi Jeche that means you test your Guru first whether uh -huh. Guru is enough or not. Yeah. But in in just most of the cases we do not do. But now. They go by their H index publication. They look at this etc. This is very crucial because once you have a bad guru, then your your life is gone. Bad in the sense he may be very qualified, but as a human being he doesn't treat you nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there mm -hmm. are many, and also there may not be a rapport also. Yeah. So selection guru is very important as well as the problem. And as I mentioned too, while selecting a problem, give right to the fourth part area. He is. Uh, market value in the sense, not for money, but it is a demanding topic for the next ten years at least. It will go. Huh? You, mm -hmm. you think that way, then you work hard, and then you 
That's all. Yes, yes. 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 Some of them, because at the end of the day, you have to be measured by how many good papers and with and with which guru you have worked. Mm -hmm. Because his reference, etc., it's very useful. Because five years, six years staying means it's a, like a tie, yeah. friendship. Yeah, it's not a guru shisha that they become friend. So if you have a good relation, because your guru's re recommendation will be remember required for whole life. Whole life. And also yeah. it, and also it is a very pleasant holy relation hmm. between be a student and teacher for the five years, five to six years. Yeah, it was nice he, to hear so many stories and interesting experiences from you. So like, coming out with my last question, with, what is your piece of advice to upcoming researchers? Yes, uh, uh, just readily that came to my mind, Rod, that uh, for, for any student, so that, uh, research student or any other job, wherever, if you want to achieve something, you have to work hard, hard for it. And this is a matter of research, no cheating, no shortcut, no plagiarism. Unfortunately, Indians and China, they have got very good name in plagiarism for the last 10, 12 years, eh? which unfortunate. I've also, also caught hold of them for many because they have also reason because now you made a policy in the university, unless you have got ISBN journal, you cannot get a PhD, unless you have good IBM journal, you can get a degree. So they cheat from others, they get that degree and then say, sir, okay, sir, so delete my name. I have just uh, found two such cheating cases, being an uh, uh, editor-in-chief of some journal. So my request is that no shortcut, no cheat, no plagiarism. If you want to achieve something, you work hard for that. That's all, nothing. That's, that's wonderful, sir, to know about it, like entire experience and how was your journey and really inspiring with limited sources, how you get there and what all you achieved. So definitely it will inspire many upcoming researchers after hearing from you, how they can proceed and keep up up to the research. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing you your much. experiences you and giving your valuable time with us. Thank you, Monica. Thank you very much.